Greetings, and thank you for taking the time to view my submission for this year's Best Practice of 2012. My name is Mario Karakides, and I'm the Global Learning and Development Lead at GHSP in Grand Haven, Michigan. And today I'll actually be sharing a best practice from an organization called Youth Villages. Uh, Youth Villages is a large nonprofit organization that is headquartered in Memphis, Tennessee. And Youth Villages provides services to children and families in over 20 states across the country. My role at Youth Villages was in leadership development, and so this practice actually is tied in with that role. At Youth Villages, uh, the challenge or the charge of the Leadership Development Department was to develop leadership bench strength for an expanding and rapidly growing organization. Although we had great practices in place and even great programs, our ability to draw people to these programs was sometimes very difficult. In the past five years, what we noticed was something significant was happening, and that was our typical method of, of communicating information, which was either through an email blast or a 20-page PDF, simply wasn't reaching the people that we needed to. Youth Villages has a workforce made up of 2,600 employees spread out across the country. However, what is unique about Youth Villages is that 52% of that workforce is under the age of 30 and 90% of their workforce is under the age of 45. And so looking at these numbers, we realized that we were in a fast-paced, innovative environment that required people to be able to access information on demand in a way that was very uh, quick uh, and accessible, that they could get it on their tablet, their smartphone, they could get the information that they needed very quickly, that they simply were not going to be reading uh, very long program guides. So what we decided uh, on this team was that we were going to put together short, poignant videos that were going to get to the, the point uh, of, what we, of what we needed. And so looking at our highest area of need, it was engaging people in our mentoring program. We had some very specific data that showed that when individuals went through our mentoring program, they had a better rate of retention within their team, their individual results were better, and they actually tended to stay with the company longer. So we knew if we could engage people in this program, we had a much better likelihood of meeting our, our key metrics. So we decided to shoot these short videos with leaders who modeled this, um, modeled mentoring very well. And so what I want to do now is actually share one of these videos with you and then come back and discuss it. My name is Matt Stone. I'm the executive director for Youth Villages in Massachusetts and New Hampshire. I started with Youth Villages in January 2001 as a teacher counselor at our Dogwood Village campus. And for a couple of years, I managed Youth Villages group homes across the organization. And then in June of 2006, I had the opportunity to move to the New England region to help establish Youth Villages in that area. Mentoring is about sharing your story and being a support. I really liked the idea of having the opportunity to be a mentor. It's a great opportunity to cheer someone on during those great times, during the successes, and it also might be an opportunity to help someone avoid falling flat on their face. In terms of how we communicated and how we worked together, I think early on we felt our way through what that would look like, but what we landed on was um, we talked about every two weeks for maybe half an hour and uh, just talked about the things that were going on with him and in his, in his program. Uh, we've talked a lot about just what it's like to develop not just professionally but also personally, just getting to know what's going on in each other's lives outside of the work. I think one of the challenges in, men in mentoring is to find a way to develop the relationship from a distance but I think we've been able to overcome those and really establish a great rapport and working relationship. Part of my job as a mentor to Matt was not just to support Matt, but also to support Matt's development that his supervisor was working on with him. We were able to talk through maybe challenges that he was experiencing and also helping him see where his real strengths are in terms of being a leader. I've been at it a while and there's probably not too many mistakes that he could make that I haven't already made and lived through. And I can be a support to him in that. But I will say 
Matt's accomplishments are Matt's, and I can only hope that I've been a good sounding board and maybe a good source of resources for him during times when he's been challenged, but also someone there to cheer him on when he's celebrating successes. Working at Youth Villages can be so much more than just a job or a place to get a little, of a, a little bit of experience, but it's a place to really build a career that, can, that will last a lifetime. I think one of the great impacts for me in terms of having the opportunity to mentor is that it has given me an opportunity to tell someone else my story. It's just very rewarding. It doesn't take that much time. And not only is that investment in another individual, but it's also an investment in what we are here to do every day, which is to help restore families. Well, welcome back. You know, what I love about that video was Matt's ability to share so candidly about his mentoring uh, experience, but not only that, but to be able to tie the mission of the in the vision of the organization back together there, that it wasn't simply about the work or even personal development, but that it came back to the fact of mentoring is important because it helps equip people to better do the work of our organization, which is restoring families. And I think that that's something Matt did a great job of. And so looking at why we feel like this is a best practice is that, you know, the workplace is evolving, it's growing, and, and whether your uh, work environment uh, has a huge population of Gen Y yet or, or not, it's only going to become more prevalent. And so the way that we communicate information has to change. And so finding ways to, to communicate in ways that are short, they're to the point, and they're accessible across multiple uh, means of, of communication, whether that be a tablet or a smartphone, is really something that we found extremely beneficial. Just a couple metrics, you know, we found a 60% a increase in those in, interested in the program after we launched this video. Uh, we also had uh, a 200% increase in those willing to to mentor, and that was almost exclusively at the director or chief officer level, which was very exciting for us to be engaging leaders at that level to invest in new leaders in the organization. And so uh, videos like this may work for you. However, what I would say played in our favor is that we had a well-established program. And so when we were able to promote it, we had something to tie it back to. And so I'm sure as, as all of you know, if the program isn't very good, then making a great video about it isn't gonna make the program any better. But if you feel like you have a solid program and you need to get the word out, you need to get more people engaged, using this to spotlight great leadership could be an absolutely great resource. And so if you have any questions on how to do this or how we put this together, I'd be more than willing uh, to talk with you. So look me up uh, on Twitter uh, at GHSP Learning, uh, or you can get a hold of me uh, by phone or email, which uh, is across the bottom here. So Thank you so much for taking the time and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.